Hi everyone and welcome to this new tutorial. I'm Arian and today we are going to build our multi-language website very quickly using WPML plugin. So as you can see I'm using Elementor and Elementor Pro. I will leave the link in the description and I will also leave a link to download the multi-language plugin called VPML. Once you get your copy of your VPML plugin, of course you need to go on the download section of your profile and then you will find all those plugins that we are going to install right away. So let's start downloading all the plugins. Great, now get back to your WordPress admin panel and click on add a new, upload and here we start uploading our files. Great! Once you installed the four files for the VPML plugin, you will find a button here to register now your copy. So we have Elementor, Elementor Pro and the four plugins that we got here on our admin panel on our VPML profile page. So great, I'm going to click on the first one, register now. And here I need to add a side key. So to add the side key, get back to your profile on VPML and then you go on my account and on the left side you will find register VPML on your site. Click on this link and now we can add a new site here and our site it's actually called like this. I will paste the URL here and continue. Type is a development site or production site. In your case would be a, probably a production site continue, credits, you can keep zero, continue, great, get this code here, copy it, back to your admin, side key, right click, paste and register. Lovely. Now everything is working fine and you can get back to your plugins. Great, now we don't have any strange messages, our plugins are installed and we have all of them right here. Now what we need to do is to go on our pages, all pages for example, and you need to select your page to translate. But as you can see, the plugin actually asking you to configure it. So I'm going to click to configure this and then current content language, we will keep English in our case click next and then you need to select the languages that you need. In my case I'm going to make it Italian and then click here next. So it's loading. Great, so now we can order our languages as we want. I will keep the English as the original and then check the settings. You can add a menu language switcher if you wish. So I can click on next here. We can add everything also after, compatibility reporting, you can send this, okay, we'll help the plugin to check the compatibility, uh, the side key, enter the side key, as you can see you already added, so you don't need to do anything else, just click on next. This I won't suggest to add any other thing, just click on skip and finish here. Lovely. Now we have everything set up. As you can see we have some messages here, so the VPL need to set languages to existing media in your site and we have this other message so we can click this to finish up the setup and click on finish setup, okay, as you can see it, it added like the English version and the Italian version if you wish to change images you can click on this plus button but we are not doing this in this video so I'm going to the dashboard again, going on plugins. Yeah, so as we are using Elementor we have another message and we can enable the Elementor Translate system so I can enable now and now everything is done. I can go on my pages, click on all pages here and now I have my sample page and if I wish to add an Italian version of this sample page I can click on this. Of course let's check out this page first as you can see it's a very simple page, hello, how are you, with some text 
and we are going to change this in an Italian version. So I'm going back and I'm going to click to the add a translation to Italian. So you click on the plus button and you should have this screen here. So you can change the uh, title. When you finished, of course you need to click on translation complete so you can allow the plugin to work and then save and close. Great, now we have an Italian version of this page, but let's see how we can actually uh, see the Italian version. Go on VPML settings and click on languages. Now, here you can see the site languages settings and of course you can change the default language as you want. The language URL format, I usually suggest to make it like this, different language in directories, it's easier and looks really cleaner. As you can see, uh, there is the URL slash IT for the Italian version. So let's try to save this. And on the top here you will find Italian and if I click on Italian, and go on my pages, I will see my Italian version of the page, right? So again, click on English, you will see your English pages, and I'm going on Italian, and here I see my Italian pages. So very, very simple. Now go on VPML languages and scroll down until you see add a language feature to a menu. And of course, it allows you to have Italian and English. And here you can change and remove like the native language name so that uh, you have only English or, you know, uh, whatever. So there is many settings. You can change color of the current language and everything. And this will be added automatically to the menu you select. If I click on here, in this case, I'm going to use my default menu and save it. Great, now I have my menu switcher in my original menu and if I get to appearance and menus, I'm talking about this menu I have here. Uh, I'm in the Italian version, I don't have any menu in the Italian version. If I get back, as you can see, I have my English menu here and uh, of course you have yours, you can edit it as always, but I don't have the Italian version. To get the Italian version, it's quite simple. So I can go and synchronize this, clicking here, click on sync, and of course it will automatically sync to your Italian version. So I saved here, I'm going to close this, and appearance, menu, and if I get to the Italian version, I have the Italian version here, okay, and now the custom link you can change in an Italian version, of course, if you change this to uh, the Italian one, you can save this. Great. So now we have two menu. We have the English menu. Here is it. And the Italian menu. Here is it. Great. Now I'm going back to the English and I'm going to add a menu on the top of my website. So I'm going to template team builder I have a menu here but I'm going to delete the, the template of my previous tutorial of course and I'm going to add a new one here select header and now we can call it menu site create this template you can close this block if you want so we click on this plus button I just click on these two columns on the left side, I will just add a heading very quickly and call it XT Unicorn. Maybe make it a little bit smaller. Okay. On the plus button on the right side, I want my menu. So click on this plus button, select Nav Menu here and drag and drop it. You will have your menu here as you can see great style of the menu you can change whatever i will keep it like this and i will click on publish add a condition and of course entire site and save and close great let me check my website right now okay i will get to my home page 
as you can see there is the English menu here automatically added by uh, the settings we changed before but if I click on it nothing happens actually uh, this is because uh, this home page okay is not available in Italian it's not existing in Italian so it won't allow you to go to the Italian version of this page so let's go back on the admin panel search for pages what happens we have the home page here in the English version but if I get on an Italian version I don't have the home page so let's get back to the English version and on home I'm going to add an Italian version so I'm going to click this now and as you can see home I will translate it casa and translation is complete and XD unicorn tutorials I will make it XD unicorn Italian so we, we know that is in the Italian version and then save and close let's get back to our website right now so I'm going to visit the site and of course check it out if I'm in the home page now I have the drop down with Italian if I click on Italian voila it's the unicorn Italian back to English and here is it the translation worked so you can do this to every page of course you won't be able to translate the page if it's not available in the selected language and that's all in the video description I will leave you all the links to the plugins and of course a video tutorial on how to create your own language selector if this video was useful to you like button, subscribe to the channel and notification bell. This will help me keep alive this YouTube channel and provide you with always new tutorials. Thanks a lot and see you in the next video. Ciao!